Guys, I have a turtle. I literally have a turtle right now. If maybe this is a Brazil way of fishing where you just throw lines out and then you come back and check them. Look at this, we got a turtle, guys. What is cooking, guys? Check out this pier behind me. Beautiful looking pier. I want to fish off of it, but it's not mine. Let's go up, let's test my Portuguese skills, and let's see if I can get permission to fish from this. Oi. Oi. Um, eu não falo português, eu sou americano, uh, eu sou youtuber, uh, eu que pescar na pier. Oh, obrigado, obrigado. Cerveja? Oh, no? <laughs> okay. Obrigado. Okay. Obrigado, muito obrigado. Wow, look at this, guys. <laughs> Isn't this sweet? Okay, I want you guys to know something. If you guys are new to fishing, look at all the algae in the water. The wind has been blowing for the last couple of days straight at the shore here. And that is a very good thing because what that does is it blows algae and just kind of stirs up the bank. Then when that all gets stirred up, it stirs up the little fish come around feeding on it. And of course the little fish being active stirs up the bigger fish because they come around and eat the little fish. So whenever you have, you see like usually, now I'm not always, but usually when you see like algae like this and the wind's been blowing hard, it's not blowing hard at the moment, but when the wind's been blowing hard at the shore and kind of stirring everything up, that usually means the fishing is better on this side of the river or lake. All right, guys. So we're just gonna try some classic, classic bottom fishing with night crawlers. They gave me, I got a bag of night crawlers before I came here at a tackle store. Let's just throw some out on the bottom and let's see what's out there. Let's, let's just see what bites. One of the workers that's working on the property over there actually came over and he just pointed to me. He said, did this. So I assumed that meant go to, to all the way to the end of the dock. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna try it since I'm gonna try it. Throw out a worm. Everything usually eats worms. Got my feet in the water. Just good old fashioned fishing. On a simple bait hook, we just have a ball of worms and then we have a sinker. And away we go. Hopefully no big catfish or something comes over and grabs that because I only have 10 pound test line. Guys, I'm already getting a bite. Oh, had a bite already. Not even like a minute out there. Got something. Oh, I think it just got off. Unless it's so small. Oh no, it's a tiny, oh, it's a porcino. A little tiny. It looks like an aquarium fish. Check that out, guys. This fish is called a porquino, and the literal, literal translation is a little pig. A little pig fish. Looks like it should belong in, a, in an aquarium, but they're practically a delicacy here in Brazil. They don't get very big, apparently, and um, I was talking with a local, and he said, oh, porquino, and he just went crazy, and he said, it's, it's basically, he said it's the best fish. So I'm actually gonna put this in the bucket. I don't know how big they get. Is, like, is this a big one? or not. So anyway, we're gonna eat, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this little pig fish in my bucket, and, I mean, cause that's only a mouthful or two, but we'll keep casting, I don't know. We'll see if we'll eat that one. I normally don't eat fish that small, but they're, I get, from what I understand, they're like a delicacy here. People eat them all the time. In fact, if you ref, if you guys are closely follow my channel, there's a one scene where I caught my first one of those. And the guy actually asked me in Portuguese, but I didn't understand him. He asked me, do you want to keep it? And I just threw it back because I didn't, I didn't understand what he was saying. So apparently they eat them that small. So throw them in a bucket. I'm only going to keep them though if I can catch, you know, some other fish. Otherwise that's just like two bites. Oh, I didn't even know I had one. I'm just reeling in. Now that Perkino, it's just a little too small. That's not even a bite on both sides. Another cool little pig fish though. Got something. I probably shouldn't set the hook that hard on fish this small. Oh, another porcino. Oh, this is a little bit bigger one. Bigger than the last one. I'm basically eating aquarium fish. Well, you know, if they're a delicacy, I'm in for trying them at least once. Got another one. 
Oh, this feels like a better one. Okay, what do we got? Another porcini, there must be a school because like this is kind of easy. That is the biggest one of the day right there, folks. As far as pig fish go. Man, they are spiky. Spiky little devils. Look at that, doesn't that look like some sort of ocean fish or aquarium fish? That is so cool. Well, this will be one of the most interesting catch and cooks I think I've ever done. Before we get to cooking up these porcino, guys, I want to show you my brand new travel wallet. Isn't that sweet? A burnt metal wallet. Guys, this is a Ridge wallet. It's fully metallic. And the thing that I really love about this is this fits in my front pocket. This is just slightly bigger than a credit card. As you can see right there, I have credit, three credit cards, actually two credit cards and one ID right in there. So it's smaller than those big bulky leather wallets. Fit it right in front of your pocket. You can sit down. You don't have to worry about the discomfort, especially when you're traveling. And I know I go to Brazil and most people like that's not, they're not that extreme. But if you're a trucker or if you're like a traveling businessman, I mean, imagine being a traveling businessman, like a three piece suit and you have this sweet metallic wallet. Guys, this is the 21st century man's wallet. Fits right in your front pocket, no discomfort. And it just looks amazing. Most of us are carrying cards anyway. So might as well ditch that bulky wallet it, get yourself a Ridge wallet, and, but if you carry a little bit of cash, boom, has the cash clip. This is the cash clip, or they have a strap, two different options there. Check them out in the description of this video, and if you guys type in the code ACE at checkout, they will give you a cool 10% off Ridge wallet. Guys, I promise once you get one of these, you will never go back. Check them out in the description below. All right, guys, so I was sitting here fishing, deciding what I wanted to do next, and this gentleman showed up, and he's gonna be fishing. He arrived on his bike uh, down here on the on the dock, or on the pier. Well, this, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, so I'm not, I'm not watching yeah. what he's doing. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh-huh. Shrimp. All right, guys, he's using live shrimp. Okay. Uh, it's oh, no, scar. No. It's scar. Right, I'm just gonna watch what he's doing. This is a perfect opportunity for me to learn something out here. All right, so he's got a double, yeah. double rig on. Uh huh. Okay. So he's got a double, a double shrimp on. Throws it on the bottom. Okay. And we have another camarón. And then he has dois right there. Yeah. All right, guys. So I have a little bit of a dilemma. That guy. That put the, throughout the three fish. He has three fishing rods cast out there with shrimp on them. He's gone. I don't know what he's doing. I really don't. He's um, he's literally. I cannot even see him. And I'm pretty sure one of these just got a bite on it. So um, and like, look, they're, they're not even anchored down. It's just like, yeah, just laid there. I, I really don't uh, know what to think here. Um, I'm looking at his bike. Yeah, he just looks like a regular. He has pliers. Just looks like a regular fisherman that came down here for a day. And I don't know why he would just throw out three lines and then literally walk away without the lines even anchored down. I guess I I know. So I can't even see him. I don't know where he's. And I know this is getting a bite. So I'm gonna like man his fishing rod for him. I guess. I would say that was just kind of a dumb move because what if a big peacock bass grabs it, pulls the fishing rod in? I, I don't think he would do that unless he thought that I was going to watch the fishing rods. Or maybe, and this would be just like a Brazilian to do. He, maybe he thought, oh, there's the, this guy's out here. He doesn't know what he's doing. So I'm going to throw out three fishing rods for him. Hopefully catch some fish. Um, oh, oh, yep. Yeah, oh, good grief. We got a bite. He may have thrown these out for me. And I just didn't understand. Getting a bite. We got, oh, this reel's a little rusty. I think it got off. Oh, no, we got, oh, okay. We got this little tiny fish. I caught one of these. I don't know what it's called. Caught one of these before, if you guys watched that episode. Maybe this guy, I don't know. I really don't know. I think he threw this out for me. This is all, he, he put these fishing lines together so that I would have, oh, look, this one's going off now. Got one. I would hate, <laughs> this is gonna be so funny, if he just threw these out. Maybe this is a Brazil way of fishing. And he just threw, guys, I have a turtle. I literally have a turtle right now. If Maybe this is a Brazil way of fishing where you just throw lines out and then you come back and check them. 
but it doesn't make any sense to me because he didn't secure his fishing rods. Look at this. We got a turtle, guys. He ate a shrimp. This is cool. This is the first turtle for sure I've ever caught. Oh, he just spit it out. He wasn't really hooked. Whoa, that is a fast little turtle. There he goes. Whoa, and he's tangled up my fishing line. There he goes. Wow. You literally never know what you're going to catch out here. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I was using his fishing rods. Yeah, ta Tataluga. Grand. Uh, meso, meso, meso. <laughs> Legal. Legal? <laughs> Excellent. Legal means cool, guys, or nice. We'll see. Oh, yeah. oh we got one. Guys, we got one on this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Porquino. Oh. Guys, that's a good one right there. We're not the soccer, boy. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we got another keeper porquino for him. We're gonna put this in his fish basket here. There we go. So I was right about the fishing rods. He, he intended for me to watch over these, I guess. Or maybe it just happened that way and he's just too nice not to say anything. I'm gonna man these just for a little while longer and then we're gonna cook up these, cook up my fish. All right, guys, he's got, look at this. Oh. Okay, this is big for a porquino. Grunge. Oh. Look at look how beautiful that fish is. I just can't get over it. It's like an aquarium fish. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Wait the boom. Oh. Oh. oh, that's nice. All right, so we hooked up here. We got something on. Oh, it's another nice porquino. Here I was casting out. I didn't even have to cast out. Obrigado. Porquino? Porquino. Filé. Filé? Muito bom. Muito bom. Okay. Yeah, he says he said porquino is really good. Stick this in the fish basket. There we go. Three porquino for him. I am going to try eating them for the first time. Leva aqueles também para você. Leva aqueles também para você. Take that oh. for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, um. Vou pegar. Well, obrigado. Vou aumentar. Vou aumentar. Vou aumentar. É. Vou aumentar. Vou aumentar a quantidade. Yeah, yeah. Obrigado. Ah, obrigado. Thank you. Well, guys, he's going to give me uh, some of his porquino. Obrigado. Nada. Well, guys, there we go. We have six. Yeah, six porquino six. now. Thank you. Six, 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 six. Oh, <laughs> gostoso. Oh, obrigado. Você vai gostar. Obrigado. Prazer. Você não me? João. 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 Obrigado, João. O seu? Um, oh, Asa. Ace. 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 A-C-E. Videos. Ah. YouTube channel. Ah. Yeah. Português. Sim, sim, é português. Uh-huh. Oh, outro oh, você. Oh, oh. Oh. Guys, he's got something. Quer Final tirar? fish. No, no, no. Você. Você. Obrigado. I guess I'm gonna see what is this. Oh, another nice one. <laughs> just <laughs> kill it. I'm casting out the whole time. I didn't even have to cast out. They were just right under the dock. Obrigado. <laughs> você também. Oh, he's gonna give me another Você one. Oh, obrigado. All right, seven. Oi. Well, seven's a great number. Quer dar uma janta? Muito obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, <laughs> this is not one of the coolest fishing days. So many nice people. Somebody let me fish off there. Peter, and then that guy let me keep all of his porquino, porquina, porquino, one of those. Anyway, and so I have seven of these to try and eat. And it kind of gave me confirmation because I was like, really? People eat the fish this small? Like, this better be really tasty. And so when he's catching just small ones, it was it's good to know because I, I was, I didn't, <laughs> it'd be weird, you know, like imagine keeping like a, an eating uh, five inch bass. You know, people be like, what are you doing? And I didn't want to do that. So anyway, yeah, that's as big as these fish get. So I was going to cook up my fish on the pier, but it is so hot. I wanted to find a shady place. I love the idea of just like doing, uh, you know, cooking up my fish right underneath a little shady glen and, you know, enjoying that like I usually do back in Idaho. But here in this region of Brazil, you do not casually set up a family picnic because in the grass, living in just the grass everywhere, are tiny venomous scorpions and these scorpions are so bad apparently that they can send a grown man to the hospital so you don't just you know you don't throw a blanket down and just like have a nice little picnic so let's go to this little place right here this is my girlfriend's family's 
They call it a ranch, but the term isn't the same. There are no animals here. It's just a little place where they can have family barbecues, be close to the river, uh, you can clean your fish here, and then you could cook your fish, which they do quite often here. Um, I would use this barbecue pit, but I don't have the charcoal required. Anyway, I'm gonna cook my fish up here. This is a safe place, no scorpions. Let's see how we're going to fillet these little monsters. All right, you little pig fish. We'll start with, you know, I'm not gonna start with the biggest one. I'm gonna start with the smallest one. So that way we can practice. So what I'm thinking is I might, you know what this little one, let's just cook him whole. I'm gonna scale him. Oh, really easy to scale. I mean, those scales melt off like butter. All right, so our little pig fish is scaled. Um, and I am just going to gut him. We'll dig those little bits of guts out. Those little fins, I, I just pulled those little fins right off so easily. Well, this is interesting, this, the, the skin is really soft on this fish. Like this fish is so small. I've never even kept a bluegill this small. This is probably the smallest fish I've ever kept to eat. I'm just gonna like take the head off. There we go, just pulled the head off. And there we go, we have a little filet of porquino. Well, there we go, guys. They were really easy to clean, really soft flesh. Let's cook up some little pigs. Beautiful. Look, the butter is literally liquid already because it's so hot out here. For this first little pig, we're gonna add him to the butter. I'm just gonna cook him in butter and a little bit of salt because I don't wanna mess up, like if these are really as good as everybody is saying, then I don't wanna mess it up with all kinds of different spices and stuff. I, I'll cook one in spice, but I'm gonna try one just, just plain like this. And we're gonna add some salt to this one, but then we're going to add some Trader Joe's chili and lime seasoning, which my subscriber Maxwell sent to me. Thank you, Maxwell, I really do love this stuff. We're gonna put a little sprinkling on there. We'll flip this one over. Ooh, look at that, looking a little bit crispy. And I think the little one though, here and just butter and salt, I think he's done. This is by far the smallest fish I have ever cooked. Porquino, going in. Wow. The guy came over there. I don't know what he's doing. He's round keeper. Guys, let me tell you something. This is a good fish. This is a really good fish. It is, okay, first off, the first thing that struck me is that the flesh is really soft. The very, very soft fish and just like very sweet. The meat is sweet. It's good. Mm. 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 Look at how easily the meat comes away. It's almost a little bit mushy. It's so soft. Just comes away. Oh, it is so good. Guys, in terms of a pure flavor, this is one of the best flavored fish I've ever had. One of the drawbacks is it's so dang small. Let's see if this seasoned one is better or worse. Because sometimes a lot of seasoning on something that's already good is not a good thing. As far as is it better with seasoning or have it more plain, I would say it's too close to call. Well guys, here is the conclusion of the matter. This is, this is real food for thought here. If you have an aquarium at your house, and you know you have some pretty little fish in there that are just for show, you never know. You're craving some fresh fish one evening, and just, you know, just keep in mind you have options you didn't even maybe know you had until you watch this video. So, uh, uh, not an overhyped fish at all. I thought it might be overhyped. People are like, oh, it's the best one I've ever had. And now I can honestly say it's one of the best ones I've ever had. I wish it was bigger. That's the only drawback, but in terms of taste, one of the best I've ever had, so. Please click right here if you want to see a frog catch and cook, or click right here if you want to see a catch and cook playlist, over 50 videos in there. And you can just scroll through and pick anyone that you want. Thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next one.